Hello, I'm Samir Savant, and I'm going to talk about the importance of a case for support. A strong, consistent and emotive case for support is one of the most powerful tools you can have as a fundraiser. And creating a central document to adapt and modify according to your audience is vital for implementing a fundraising strategy. Think about how you would talk about your organisation now. Is the description powerful enough? Does it clearly say what your organisation does? And is it easy to sell? A good case for support will concisely and clearly explain what it is that your charity does, why it's important, and motivate people to donate. I'm going to talk about this in relation to my own work at the London Handel Festival, but I hope that it will be relevant to you in your own work and can be carried across every sector and cause. Here are three tips to help bring your case for support together. Firstly, Demonstrate what you do, why you are experts and need to be funded. For example, with the London Handel Festival, each year we present a series of concerts focused on George Frederick Handel, the composer, from venues in London the composer would have known, such as his church. We continue the composer's tradition of nurturing young artists through our International Handel Singing Competition. And like many arts organisations, ticket sales only cover a percentage of our costs, and therefore we have to fundraise for the rest. Secondly, make sure your audience knows what your vision is for the future and what you would like them to do to play their part and make a difference. For example, with the Handel Festival, Handel is one of the greatest British composers and a household name. Our main charitable aim is to bring his music to wider audiences through our learning and participation work, and our supporters enable us to do this. Finally, Paint the picture of the situation you're trying to change, and this can often be the most difficult area to cover. The current pandemic has shown that we've come to rely on the things we love the most, whether that be family or friends, the environment around us at home or outside, and our hobbies and interests, such as classical music. We at the London Handel Festival are trying to keep our industry alive for future generations and to ensure that music can continue to have a positive impact on people's mental health and social cohesion by bringing communities together. Remember to make your case for support flexible. It will vary in length depending on who you're communicating with and how. It will be formatted to be appropriate for your audience. So short and easy to digest for online visitors, think about the impact of a pithy statement like together we will beat cancer and longer and perhaps more detailed for a major corporate proposal or a bid for funding from a trust or foundation. Your case must become an elevator pitch, which all your staff, trustees and volunteers can buy into and use in their own engagement with potential and existing supporters and contacts. You should be able to adapt your case for different audiences. Using the London Handel Festival example, some donors are much more interested in the emerging talent side of things, whilst other donors are interested in supporting underrepresented groups of people to attend our events. Some more tips to remember are, firstly, people really respond to a sense of urgency. So make sure they understand what will happen if we do nothing. When fundraising, you have to ask yourself, why at all and why now? Why would your supporters support your charity at all? And why in this particular moment in time? The why now or sense of urgency is likely to be in response to the current pandemic. But think about how you want to articulate that to your supporters. Watch the language you use. Talking about the history of your charity can often make your message feel distant, while the present tense makes it feel relevant now. With the London Handel Festival, it's easy to fall into this trap. So we have to articulate the relevance of our work today and how we really can make a difference. Also, describe the benefits of your work rather than the features. Really think about what makes you unique. For example, our International Handel Singing Competition attracted a record number of applicants this year with 187 singers from 32 countries worldwide. So what? Well, it indicates that we are reaching and helping whole generations of young singers who have an interest in Handel's music and look to us as experts. 
Use your case to build a bridge to your donor. What elements of your work can they relate to best? For example, focus on different benefits your work brings to different audiences. Be convincing and inclusive. Your case for support needs to be something that everyone in your charity can take on board, adapt and adopt and use from staff, management team, trustees to volunteers. As you develop your case for support, make sure you road test it with a wide body of stakeholders, including your existing donor community. It is important that you understand from them directly why they support you. Try and test different messages until you know they are clear, concise and powerful. Are there areas of your work which are more important to you now than before? Are there areas of your work which you feel would be more appealing to donors? Test all these ideas with people inside and outside your organisation wherever possible. Be sure to include testimonial from people who have benefited from your work and specific case studies which illustrate the power of your work. With our Handel Singing Competition, we have had lots of lovely feedback from past winners who have gone on to have great success in their careers, which we use in our donor communications. Once you have developed your case for support and tested it with a wide constituency to include your donors, publicise it as widely as possible on your website, in all your communications with your audiences, including your donors, at all your events and in your annual report. Your staff and volunteers should be thanking donors at every opportunity. And the case for support is an excellent way of highlighting how important their support is in enabling you to achieve your vision and aims. Think about particular donors you know and how your case for support will work for them. A particularly effective way of testing it is to imagine that you're using it for a legacy pledger. Is your case sufficiently permanent and lasting that it would appeal to someone thinking of making a life-changing and far-reaching gift, which might impact your work for generations to come. Finally, remember that your case for support is only the beginning. It can only be effective in conjunction with other fundraising techniques, such as solid research, thoughtful cultivation of prospects, and so on. But it is an excellent way to create focus and momentum for your fundraising and to get different stakeholders involved in your work.